Well, hello, time travelers, and welcome to welcome new time travelers. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, come along as we go back in history to 1706, when American author, inventor, and diplomat Benjamin Franklin who was one of the foremost founding fathers, helped to draft the Declaration of Independence, was born. In 1734, Augustus III was crowned King of Poland. In 1820, English poet and novelist Anne Bonnet, sister of Charlotte and Emily Bonnet, was born. Acting for Hawaiian uh, sugar interest and their American allies, a committee led by Sanford Bernard Dole deposited Hawaiian Queen Luku Lawin on this day in 1893 and installed a provisional government with Dole as president. 1899 brought us American gangster Alcum Bone was born in Brooklyn, New York. On Alcum Bone's 18th birthday in 1917, the United States purchased three of the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. John and St. Crux from Denmark for $25 million. In 1922, American actress Betty White, who was best known for her comedic work on numerous television shows, was born. Excuse me. In 2000, or I'm sorry, just seven years later, in 1929, the cartoon character Popeye the Sailor, a sailor known for his love of spinach, made his debut appearing in newspaper comic strip, uh, Thrinbo Theater. Moving on, on to uh, 1931, when American actress James or I'm sorry, actor James Earl Jones, whose deep resonant voice lent on air of gravities to many roles, was born in Octula, Mississippi. In 1942, American professional boxer Muhammad Ali was born in Louisville, Kentucky. The following year, in 1943, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt met in Casablanca, Morocco. 1850, or I'm sorry, 1958, brought us President Dwight D. Eisenhower sending to Congress a budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 1955, which estimated expenditure at $62 billion, 480, or I'm sorry, $408 trillion, and a revenue of $60 billion. That's a lot of zeros, leaving a prospect deflect of almost two and a half billion dollars. In 1961, in his farewell address, U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower warned that the United States must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influences by the military industrial complex. He felt that if left unchecked, 
it could undermine American democracy. The following year, in 1962, 10 television, television quiz show winners indicted in the 1960 for second-degree perjury were given suspension, suspended sentences by special sections judge in New York. In 1977, American murderer Gary Gilmore was executed in, in Utah, ending a de facto nationwide mortuarium on capital punishment that had lasted nearly 10 years. On this day in 1991, Harold V became King of Norway following the death of his father, Ovo V. In 1994, in Los Angeles, a strong pre-dawn earthquake of magnitude 6.8 violently shook the area claiming the lives of 61 people, injuring more than 9,000, and resulted in 13 billion to $20 billion worth of damages. The tremble causes causes sections of Santa Monica, Golden State, and Antelope Valley and Semi Valley freeways to collapse. Multiple fires resulting from gas leaks, including those that destroyed some 70 homes and similar. The Derailment of 64 car trains between Northridge and Chatsworth and the collapse of offices, plants and apartment buildings, notably a three-story apartment in Norwich, close to the epicenter of the San Francisco, oh, I'm sorry, the San Fernando Valley where 16 people were killed when the building crumbled. Many of the 25,000 left homeless, homeless camp in parks and shelters as powerful aftershocks, the river aftershock, river of Brighton. Moving forward in the timeline to 1995, a large scale earthquake shook the Oswa Cove, also known as the Heinstein Metro Metropolitan Area, killing an estimated of 6,400 people and causing major damages. In 2008, American-born chess player Bobby Fischer, who became the youngest grandmaster in history, when received the title in 1958, passed away at the age of 64 in Wenwark, Iceland. In 2010, conservative candidate Sebastian Pierre won the Wiffoff presidential election in Chile, defeating Ecuador Fuhrer of the rolling uh, construction coalition, which held the power for some 20 years. 2010 also brought us the Golden Globe Awards in Beverly Hills, California. Best Picture honor goes to Avatar, The Hangover, and The Hangover. Best Director goes to James Cameron for Avatar. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. So let's see what this year has in store for us. Until next time.